Welcome back guys. This is Huts on Mouse Turd. This is another tutorial about uh, on this one I'm going to show you guys how to set up a multiplayer server. Now this is really easy but it's it's difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, it requires some knowledge of how to just some some simple coding and uh, coding is my job so I think I should know how to do it. Uh, obviously, I don't code in um, Windows and the the like the whatever the command language is for Windows, but um, it's it's some of the some, same stuff. So to start off with, what you're going to need to do is obviously download Minecraft. I sure hope you've done that if you're watching this video. Uh, aside from that, you are going to need to download the server jar. Um, I so, so okay. So if you're doing Windows, you see this Minecraft for Windows right here. Little secret: don't download that Minecraft executable file, the .exe. If you plan on downloading uh, mods, because for some reason when you add mods into the .exe and then try to save it, it says it's corrupt. Now this is clearly a problem because it will not work. Um, okay, so this is Minecraft. I meant the Minecraft server.exe down here. That's the one that you don't want to download, even if you're on Windows. You're going to want to download this Minecraft server.jar. Trust me. Okay, so if you download that and then you get that running, let's do that right now. So I have it right here Minecraft server. This is a jar file. As you can see, executable jar file. Double click on that. And that is going to just do its thing. It's going to run and it's going to pop up into this nice GUI here. Now, if you're if you're using a Mac, it doesn't pop up this GUI. It actually you have to run it in a, in a terminal. Um, that's for another day. Uh, if you guys want to know how it works for a Mac, you know, leave me a comment and I'll and I'll get to it. It's it's really easy. It's super simple. I know how to do it because uh, I started on Mac. So okay. So as you can see, it has uh, loaded up a level called world and it's prepared the spawn level blah 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 done okay so now it's running the server's up, up and running it was that easy done okay so now if you go to multiplayer now if you are the one who is on if, if you're running the server on your computer you can just say direct connect local host no space and no underscore hit enter it's going to log you right into that server you don't have to have a ip address or anything like that so here is my server that i had running okay <clears throat> so let's say that you want to join your friend's server how do you do that for that you are going to need to find what the ip address is of of his internet. Now this is assuming you're using a local area connection, I believe. So um, one way to find what the IP address is, is to go into your wireless settings. So your open network and sharing center. Now if you see, okay, so you wanna click on this wireless network connection. That's what I'm using currently. And you can see all this information, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's details here. Now you can see that here you see this IPv4 address. That is what you need to type into the server in order to, in, in the server uh, information field, in order to get it working. So you grab whatever the number is, it's three digits, three digits, three digits dot, three digits dot, you know, number dot number. And you, you memorize that and you go into your, your Minecraft game. I don't know why I closed it down. Let me open that up again. It should take three seconds. Okay. So my server is still up and running, as you can see. Uh, it said that I joined, then it said lost connection because I quit, but it's still running. So now if I go back into the game, I should be able to say add server. Uh, name it whatever you'd like. If you had a friend's house, you know, give it his name so you can get back onto that. So now if I type that number into the server address field and then click done, boom, there it is. Guess what? That server 
it, it shows up right there. You don't have to do a local connection or anything. This is especially useful, like I said, if you're not the one running the server. So now if Kelly's playing next to me and we're both on the same internet, boom, she can just log on to my server that I'm running on my computer. So now we log in. It should be the same exact thing, same spot. Yep, boom, as you can see, done. All right, it is that easy. So now how do we how do we change the information of that server that I will get into in the next tutorial. So stay tuned, guys.